Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and in today's video, I will be discussing the importance of taking breaks and mental health um, when doing art. Now, some of you might be saying, "But charisma." I was taught that I must draw and do art every day to be really well and be really good at art. And yeah, that is a good mantra that I see like a lot of artists talk about and, and stuff. But what's really important is that you have a chance to just take a break, not feel bad about not doing art for like an hour or so and giving yourself that mental time to relax. So I'm going to talk about how I kind of deal with this situation ongoingly as an artist and um, the different ways on how to tackle this. So, usually when I'm doing art, I feel, I feel good, I feel like it relaxes me, but there's some point in time where I get to a point where I'm doing art, I'm doing it, I'm doing it a lot, and then I just like run out of ideas, I run out of fumes, I'm just burning. Imagine like just smoke coming out of my ears because I'm just burning all my art all my creative fumes because it's very art is very intensive like you're using your memory you're using your hand there's a lot of motor skills and if you're thinking of color combination you're also thinking of how that's going to look further so you're thinking in the present and in the future so there's a lot of things going on in your head it can be very immensely taxing so you know sometimes i just power through it and my art looks like crap i feel like crap because i didn't take a break <laughs> and you're you're kind of taught like in school or when you see other people doing art they just draw or post every day and you're like wow I, I should be doing that and it's natural to copy and see um, naturally what other people do because you want to get to that point but it's also very important that you take some me time and just a mental break and a mental space to regenerate <laughs> Just take that time. It's very precious. And I say this because um, I would usually feel bad if I took a break. I'd be like, oh, I'm not making any art. I should be doing more art, you know? Should be. I feel like any if I don't take a break, I mean, I feel like if I did take a break, that as soon as I came back, all my drawing skills would have evaporated from my hands. And that's, that's an irrational fear, I know. But when, you, when you're in that mode of always drawing and never taking time off it's, it's very hard you know it's like a workaholic it's very hard to enable yourself into that space of just relaxing and be like it's okay if you don't draw for a day a week a month it's okay nothing's gonna happen you're not gonna like lose all the years of practice that you've taken like it's stored there and so what I've been beginning to do is that um, I when I find that I take breaks, I'm more aware, I'm more present with my art. And the way that I can describe this is that there's no, not, there's no pressure. Because say, oh, I didn't create today. It's okay. <laughs> it's totally fine. You know why? Because I couldn't come up with anything. My brain is exhausted. Why am I, like, it's like if you're, if you're working out and your muscles give out on you. And you're, are you still gonna work out? No, you're gonna hurt yourself. So you, you have to, in that case, you really have to like sit down and like let your muscles repair. And the same thing I feel like with your brain and with your hand or with drawing. You have to allow yourself, give yourself time. It's not gonna happen all in one shot that you're gonna create masterpieces every time you lay pencil to paper. That's not gonna happen. Some days you'll be like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing today. I really don't feel like drawing, but I'm looking at other people's stuff. And they're always drawing. I guess I gotta do that. And so I'm trying to change that mentality is it's, it's not only be, it's not only going to be beneficial for you, but it's going to be very beneficial for your art in the long term. So what I like to do um, <laughs> when I'm trying to relax or just trying to get my mind off art or drawing for like it's hard, it's very hard, it's so hard. Get my mind off of drawing. Um, I either look at new, get new inspiration other places. So like. I have a long queue of films in my Netflix that I have to watch, so I'm like, well, oh, I'm gonna put them on a film. Or like, I watch Twitch because I love Twitch streamers and I love games, so that's a way for me to relax. And just I even have it in the background sometimes when I work. So to have um, Twitch streamers, I love dance gaming, um, and just have that in the background and looking at different um, gameplays that I really want to get to. Um, looking at different um, videos on YouTube that 
in my subscription or that artist I haven't really checked up on in a while. Look at Instagram, find some new music on Spotify, and just basically just like spreading out the ways that help me just clear my mind and not think too hard. <laughs> Because your body really appreciates, your body doesn't give like get rid of information as soon as it receives it. It, it, it holds on to it, it's like a muscle. I mean, you can't overtrain it because you're gonna wear it out and your body's gonna be exhausted. And you can't undertrain it up, train it at all because you're not gonna get anywhere. So there's a middle ground that you have to um, be in um, to have a creative space that will flourish in return, you know. So it's very, it's so important that you take these mental breaks because not only will it improve your art, not only will you feel more happier, you'll feel lighter when you go to create a piece because there's no pressure. Because if you don't create, nothing bad is gonna happen. You just didn't create that day. It's okay. No one's like, there's no client. Unless, there's, unless you are at, in a deadline, then you know, sometimes you just gotta push through. But if you have no client to, talk to if this is not based on your work or hurting your your income in any way or if this is not a pressing time issue or time crunch you have to finish at a certain date it's okay it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be engaging and do not beat yourself up if you're taking time out to just come back to your art your art will always be there you have to take care of you that's all for today. Um, this is a quick little video. I just wanted to discuss that because I felt it was very important. And I was currently going through it, so I felt it was really relevant. And hopefully um, this helps any artists that feel like they have to work every day to make freaking amazing art. Um, take those breaks as need be. Please take those breaks as need be because that mental strain, it's a lot. Art is a mental strain and you really need time to just dial back. Oh. Real quick, another added point. If you are still like a workaholic and feel like I should be drawing every day, um, what I like to do is like observe around me and create like a little visual memory bank so that when I go back to putting pen to paper, I have like an idea of like, oh, I saw this really cool person on the train when I was like not drawing. <laughs> I just kept it in the back of my mind and I'm gonna like, put that into fresh now, see how it comes out and what I remember. So that's another way to exercise, a little less taxing on your brain, but if you still like, but I can't, I need to work. Um, that's a little trick that kind of helps me. So thank you, thank you everyone for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.